I've never heard anything you like it in my life. An illicit alcohol ring here in school. I can think of worse things. Like what? Knives, guns, drugs. Should be this place's motto. Alcohol is a drug. Yeah, but this was ethanol, which they stole. Well, which I let them steal from my classroom. Don't know why they bothered. Tastes like shoe polish and gives you a splitting headache. Oh, but they were selling it as alcohol, weren't they? Because that's what the kids wanted. I can't believe you're defending them. Well, I'm not. But the kids will be drinking, whether they're buying it from Paul Langley or from a supermarket or nicking it from home. And you think that's all right, do you? No. But us just saying they shouldn't, well, that doesn't achieve anything. Well, it doesn't teach them the dangers or how to drink safely. It just makes us feel like we've done our bit. Well, all we're really doing is washing our hands of it. Shoes. Okay. Danielle, can you hear me? Danielle? Danielle? Can you hear me, Danielle? I don't know. They're saying she might have hypoglycemia and other horrible things. No. Anyway, I need the information of the ethanol bottle. Yeah. Well, just let us know as soon as you hear anything. Oh, thank you, Steph. Well? It's not good. Being monitored, but I'm... I'm just gonna have to sit and wait. Steph clearly knew something. Why else charge into the building like a demented bison? Well, under the circumstances, it's a good job she did. Oh my god. Danielle. <coughs> Not now. Do you have any idea what you've done? You've risked the well being of other pupils' lives for your own personal gain, flouted several school rules, lowered the tone of school life, and to top it all, Broken the law. You think this is funny? Danielle Harker's in hospital because of you. Look, she didn't have to drink what we offered her. We didn't force people to buy our stuff. They were queuing up for it. It's a planned demand, isn't it? Give me some respect! Max. Just because there's a demand doesn't make it okay for you to supply. What you two did was wholly unacceptable, yes? Yes, sir. Now, obviously, we don't know the full extent of the damage you've done to Danielle, but rest assured, gentlemen, I intend to make an example of you both. You got a problem with that? No, no sir. The sort of dumb insolence drives me mad. Clearly. I think she's perked up a bit. That's just the rehydration. Doesn't mean she's out of the woods yet. Ow. If you're big enough to get yourself in this state, you're big enough to take a pinprick. She's been poisoned. Of course she has. It's never their fault, is it? I'm sorry, it's just the amount of time we have to allocate to the likes of her. Stupid teenagers all messed up. Looks like she's one of the lucky ones. Whatever she drank today, on top of last night's binge, it could have caused some real damage. I'll check on her again in a little while. I don't... I don't remember. I don't remember much of anything. Bits of last night, bits of school, but... The main thing is... You're gonna be okay. Yeah, right. My dad, school. Well, you'll have to deal with that as and when. For a while it was looking really serious, Danielle. Why did you do it? Because it's fun. Oh. I've had fun, Danielle, and believe me, it doesn't end up like this. You're a bright girl. You don't need me to tell you that, that this is not right. You have got off very lightly this time, but you've got to be more careful. Being that drunk, anything could have happened to you. And I'm not saying don't have fun. God knows I'd be the last person to say that to you. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the school and 
let them know you're through the worst. Miss Haydock? Mm-hmm. Thanks. For, you know. I'm just glad. You're gonna be okay. So they're gonna keep her in overnight just to make sure, but they don't think there's any permanent damage. Well, that's something, I suppose, isn't it? And I've told her that that's no way to behave. Staying out all night, coming into school half cut, so you don't need to worry about that. No, but what we are worried about, Steph, is you saw her in that state, and then again after she drank the ethanol, and you did nothing about it. Alicia told us everything. That amounts to professional misconduct. Danielle is a good kid. I didn't want her getting into trouble for letting her hair down once in a while. Yes, but that delay could have resulted in her getting seriously ill or worse. I know. And if I could turn back the clock and do things differently, then I would. But the main thing is that she's okay. I can't believe you're getting your knickers in a twist because I didn't stick to the bloody rules. Steph, the rules are there to protect the children. And so are the staff. I was trying to help her. But you're her teacher. You're not a mate. Exactly. Her mates were making it worse, you could have nipped it in the bud. Couldn't you? If you'd reported Danielle when you first saw her, there is no way she would have ended up in hospital. What she needed from you was protection stuff. You know, mature response. If you'd have acted like a teacher in the first place, none of this would have happened, would it? It's my fault. Anyone else, this wouldn't have happened. But it was me. Oh, Steph. Steph, don't... <sighs> you okay? Does it matter? Steph. No, seriously. You two were right. There's me being all pally with the kids, thinking that that's what it's all about. And then look what happens when I try to help them. Look at Danielle. Maxine. From where I'm sitting, everything I touch just turns to crap. I'm sorry, Steph. I know you've had a difficult day. And I wished that deep down, I could say that I can see a really good teacher, but it's not true. I like you. I do, I really like you, but at the moment, I don't think you're up to teaching in my department. So what, are you going to sack me? No. But if you want to stay, I want to see some real commitment. Proper hard work. Yeah? Yeah? There you go, then. What's this? After today's events, we all think that you'd benefit from some retraining. What, are you sending me back to college? Mm-hmm. A part-time. Think of it as a refresher course. Do I have to? Yeah. The boys, definite exclusion. Temporary exclusion. Alicia and Danielle. Should be dealt with through pastoral care. <laughs> Look, whatever happened today, Max, you can't just punish alcohol out of these kids' lives. Can you? Let's use Danielle as an example. You saw how, how shaken up Alicia was. This is a perfect opportunity to make an issue of the problem. Fine. Kim's a safe pair of hands. Steph Haydock, on the other hand, and happily suck in a heartbeat. Heaven knows we've got enough cause to. And I would rather we didn't. <laughs> Joe Lips has already been bending my ear. She's happy to take on responsibility for Steph, but on a last chance basis. Well, to roll call that, Waterloo Road's very own dirty dozen. What was it you were saying this morning, Max? Your brave speech in the staff room. Clean slate, new school, new standards. Did you actually mean any of that? Of course I did. Then maybe you ought to implement it, starting with yourself. Because while you insist on seeing the old Waterloo Road as the source of every problem that we have here, this place does not stand a chance.